Welcome to Blade of Tech Musings, the channel dedicated to retro tech, innovation, science, and technological entertainment. This is part four of our coverage of the SpaceX Dragon 2 Demo 2 launch and docking at the International Space Station. Part one, the launch, was covered in short 18. Part two, the docking, was covered in short 19. And part three, the speeches, was covered in short 20. Links to all three can be found below. This part is dedicated to the SpaceX Stage 1 booster of the Falcon 9 rocket. The rocket lifted off at 3.22 p.m. EDT May 30, 2020 from Launch Center 39A, carrying NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken and the Dragon 2 Demo 2 capsule to low Earth orbit. The first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket, serial number B1058, switched off its nine Merlin engines around three minutes after liftoff then detached to allow the rocket's upper stage to fire to lift the Dragon 2 into its target elevation. The first stage deployed four grid fins for aerodynamic stability, then reignited a subset of its Merlin engines to steer toward a landing on SpaceX's drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, a few hundred miles northeast of Cape Canaveral. While they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon, burn. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chill for entry burn. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon, still on second stage, and that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little stage under, two propulsion a little is still over. good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage SpaceX, gets a chance. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Dragon copy, nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn Acquisition beginning. Burn. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. That entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Healthy be the shutdown. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast. 
of Ireland. Standing by for second Stage one line cutoff confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Stage one landing layer. Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Just confirmation is disarmed. nominal Dragon orbital copy. insertion. Nominal stage orbital one insertion. Landing deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. A single engine burn slowed the rocket for the final descent to the drone ship's deck, and the landing legs extended just before touchdown. Falcon 9 first stage successfully landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. m one d to recovery one. So exciting today. m one d While the Dragon 2 spacecraft continued on its journey to the International Space Station the next day, the crew of the nearby support ship boarded the landing platform and ensured the rocket's landing legs were secured for transport, and a tug brought the drone ship under tow back to port. After a journey of roughly three days, the 15-story tall Falcon rocket booster returned to Florida's space coast on June 2, 2020, and was pulled through an inlet leading to Port Canaveral around 2 p.m. EDT and brought to dock. Dock workers will hoist the Falcon 9 rocket booster off the drone ship and into an offshore stand. Once the rocket's landing legs have been removed, the booster will be laid horizontal for transport back to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station for further inspections and possible refurbishment. SpaceX has not revealed when or if B-1058 will fly again. Given its place in U.S. space history, it is possible that it will not. It is demonstrative of the company's usual intentions for a first stage, and that B-1049 made its fifth flight the day after B-1058's arrival in port in order to lift 60 more Starlink satellites into orbit. No first stage has made more than five flights, although SpaceX has stated that 10 flights are possible for any given first stage. We hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part 5 in our series on the Dragon 2 Demo 2 launch.